In-person classes were suspended in May due to the rise in domestic COVID cases. To understand the impact remote learning had on students amid the pandemic, the King Carr Foundation and the Department of Social Work of National Taipei University conducted a survey on students from elementary to 12th grade. The survey found that 64% of young people want to go back to school to attend in-person courses because they miss interacting with their peers. About 42% believed that they had fallen behind in their studies. In June, the King Car Cultural and Educational Foundation surveyed 18,000 elementary to high school students in Taiwan. The foundation found that 74.2% of respondents felt unhappy while isolated at home. 64% of students wanted to return to school, and 41.7% said they had fallen behind in their studies. Another 47.7% reported lower levels of concentration learning online. Now that I have I've been taking online courses for a long time, I have become more accustomed to using the software, but I feel that I need to rely on self-discipline for time management. Although I spend less time traveling to and from school, time is wasted when I'm taking breaks, resulting in poor learning efficiency. If there's a return to in-person classes in the future, there can be more interaction with classmates and more communication with the teacher, as well as less hassle. I haven't met up with my classmates for a long time. I miss school and want to return as soon as possible. In addition, it's easier to ask the teacher questions in person. It may be more difficult to ask the teacher questions if you're taking online classes. The survey also showed that nearly half of the students believed that it was difficult to learn online. Nearly 70 percent of elementary school students want to return to school. We also found that nearly 80 percent of youth haven't been able to do events with large gatherings, such as graduation ceremonies and field trips. They are unhappy about that. Class suspensions have also led to more conflicts at home. According to the survey, the most common causes of parent-child arguments are parental restrictions on electronic devices, restrictions on going out, and reduced sports and leisure activities. About 64 percent of teenagers worried that their parents' income were being affected by the pandemic. Nearly 80 percent of children feared that they or their family members would get infected with the virus. Uh, we need to consider about there are more Fa uh, the family face the economic issue and some of them lose their job or some of them their income might be affected and we need to consider whether they uh, can get them back uh, get their money back after this uh, COVID-19 pandemic and we also consider need to consider about uh, the use and if their family face the unemployment problem and maybe uh, their uh, chance of, econ uh, of education will be affected. The King Car Cultural and Educational Foundation said that in the future, demand for online learning will only continue to expand. Therefore, it's crucial that teachers continue to master their fluency in digital tools to improve students' learning, it said. For most News, Stephanie Yang, Lu Bo Tong in Taipei.